Welcome back to another Climb product comparison. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're looking at our Adventure Jacket lineup. First things first, before we get started, you'll see there's only four jackets here. There are a few that we didn't include in this list just for the sake of keeping it short enough and reasonable enough to talk about it in one sitting. The things we don't have here today are the Dakar jacket, which is a non-Gore-Tex fabric uh, off-road jacket in a way with removable sleeves and all that. It's good for dual sport type riding, maybe really light adventure where you don't need something waterproof and windproof. That's a cool jacket, check it out as well. And then the Traverse jacket, which is uh, kind of our entry level Gore-Tex uh, D3O padded jacket. So pads in, are included with it. It's Gore-Tex, it's waterproof, but we're not adding as many features and bulk as we have here. That's a good option as well. But for this video, we're focusing on the stuff that's a little bit more uh, at the higher end of the price spectrum, shall we say. So right off the bat, to my left here, this is the Baja S4 jacket. This is highly ventilated. This is the best of all of these for extremely hot weather where you're going speeds that might not bring enough ventilation or air through your zippered vent. So this is not Gore-Tex, this is extremely ventilated. We have pants that match it as well. It flows a ton of air and it's right at that $600 mark. So this is something that I would wear if it's super hot and humid where the humidity and the air is high enough where it doesn't allow Gore-Tex to work as well. There's a certain uh, physics discussion about how moisture moves through a membrane, but anyways, that's a different discussion. Uh, so if it's super hot and humid, I would use this. If we're riding adventure bikes in the desert and we might be kind of riding kind of technical and working up a lot of body heat, we want some, any lightest breeze, we want that to kind of move that uh, sweat away from us. This is what I would wear, it's the Baja S4 jacket. and. To make it waterproof, we also have the Enduro S4 jacket that kits with it really well. It's a stretch shoulder waterproof material that you can wear on top of the Baja S4 jacket. Next up here, right between the Baja S4 and the Carlsbad jacket in terms of price is the Raptor GTX shell. It's not on this list because it doesn't have pads included with it, but that's a really solid uh, shell option for you if you want abrasion protection and you wanna wear a separate armor system from the shell. So you can have your abrasion protection and waterproof and weather protection in one piece, and then your armor in a separate piece. That's the Raptor Gore-Tex, check that video out as well. So next up what we have here is the Carlsbad jacket. This is my favorite jacket for most kinds of riding, particularly stuff around Idaho where we live here. Just for some pretty casual adventure riding where we want something that works well, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles and features of the Badlands Pro, but it still really, really performs exceptionally well, especially for the price, where if you don't have maybe the budget for the higher end stuff like the Badlands Pro or even the Badlands Pro A3, you can look at this as a really solid do-it-all option. This is the Carlsbad jacket. We've got some reasonable venting, reasonable pockets. It's just such a solid performer. This thing has got to be my favorite in the whole adventure category. It's kind of a, it's kind of a midway jacket, so to speak. And then next up we have the Badlands Pro jacket. This thing, is super famous in basically all the adventure motorcycle jacket industry. This thing has set the standard for ventilation, pockets, and abrasion protection all at once. Whatever kind of pockets you want, this thing probably has it. The options and the way you can set this thing up for your style of travel, for your style of motorcycling is exceptional with all the adjustment features, the vents, the pockets. This is something that I would wear if I'm doing a much longer trip where I'm on the bike a lot. I'm not walking around that much. I'm just riding all day and then eating and sleeping. Like if I'm seriously traveling, this is really something that I will wear just because of all the pockets and because of the ventilation. It's more ventilated than the Carlsbad jacket here. So you might think it's bigger, it's heavier. How can it be more ventilated or uh, more comfortable in the heat? Well, it is because of the way the designers built these vents here to really flow air through the whole jacket. Other thing you'll notice is stuff like the super fabric here. It's more abrasion resistant than the Carlsbad jacket, for example. The other thing that this has is D3O Aero Pro pads, which are larger, broader CE level two pads. We work with D3O to make these. The Carlsbad, for example, has uh, D3O's CE level two pad options. So they're just not as broad, not as wide as these pads. They're still CE level two though, which we really like. Moving up to the biggest, baddest jacket of this whole lineup is the Badlands Pro A3 here. We have a whole separate walkthrough on this. We actually have separate walkthroughs on all these jackets here if you wanna see all that stuff really in detail here. But this is kind of our most pinnacle adventure product here in this whole lineup. And the thing that sets it apart is that CE AAA rating. The CE AAA abrasion protection rating is really hard to reach by anything that is comfortable to wear. So that's like uh, super burly leather track suits and things that are really heavy really bulky and are not going to be comfortable to wear when you're actually traveling. This jacket, on the other hand, is actually comfortable to wear. It is completely wearable. 
This particular fabric, this blue fabric here is a Vectron fiber fabric, and this is what is kind of the special magic secret sauce that makes this thing pass that CE AAA rating. Um, that's what sets it apart from the regular Badlands Pro here, which not that this is a non-protective jacket, this is just a really much more protective jacket than the regular Badlands Pro. And this is something you would get if you really care about safety, that's your number one priority. Doesn't matter what it takes, you want the best possible abrasion protection coupled with really solid impact protection and usable features like it being breathable and waterproof, having pockets, having vents, and having it be an actual usable motorcycle jacket. So we're super proud of this one, the Badlands Pro A3. Now, if you guys have any questions about all these jackets or anything else in our adventure line, drop us a comment down below. Hopefully this helps you get a good idea of how all these jackets stack up against each other, plus what other options we might have in our line. Like I said, fire away about questions in the comments. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, all the social medias. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.